But first of all, you need to know the definition of a vector. A vector is a directed, directed line segment. A vector is a directed line what? Segment. If I draw, for example, if I draw this line, I say O A. Is that a vector? No. Because there's no direction. But once I include direction, it becomes now a vector. So I can say the vector was moving from A going to what? To A. So that's what it means. The vector is a directed line segment. So any line without a direction is not a vector. Now, what you must remember is this. A vector, a vector should have number one, magnitude, meaning the distance. Number two, direction. These are the two things a vector should have. Magnitude and the direction. And don't forget, don't forget that a vector, a vector is written, a vector is written as x, y. So such kind of writing, it means a vector. This implies that, so a vector is written as that. Now, the magnitude, if you see this line standing straight in a vector, it means magnitude or distance. Magnitude of the vector is given by the formula square root of x squared plus y squared. That's the formula. The magnitude of the vector is given by the formula x the square root of x squared plus y squared. So I can say example. Given that vector a equals to negative four three, we say find the magnitude of vector a solution. Find the magnitude of vector a. If you see those two lines means magnitude. Okay. So under solution, you need to remember that. So I'm going to say. The magnitude of vector A will be equal to square root of x squared plus y squared. Always don't forget that formula. Square root of x squared plus y squared. Meaning this is x, this is y. So your vector will be square root of x is negative 4 plus y is 3 is squared like that. Okay? So this implies that Negative 4 squared means negative 4 times negative 4, which is 16. 3 squared means 3 times 3, which is 9. So 25. Square root of 25, you say 5. Always just say units. If you want, you can just say 5, they will mark you. But if you want, you can just say 5 units. So that is it, the magnitude of that vector. So given the vector, you can come up with the magnitude. Clear? Have you understood? Next part is it? changing coordinate, changing coordinate into a vector. You need to, to know how to change a coordinate into a vector. For example, I can say example. Given that coordinate A 3,4 and coordinate B 5,7, and I say write them, write them in vector form, write them in vector form. So here you are changing coordinates, you are changing coordinates into vectors. Changing coordinates into vector solution. This is very simple. I'll start with number one. You've got coordinate A 
3,4. Now they want you to change this as a vector. They want to change this as a vector. You should remember also that a coordinate is always x, y. So this is x, this is y. Now, when you are writing the coordinate, when you are changing from a coordinate into a vector, just, just include O. You say O A. You, can, you should imagine that there was a starting point called origin. Because a vector always starts from the origin. A vector always starts from the origin. So you just say OA equals to, then you write it in vector form, 3, 4. So it means I've changed from coordinate into vector. Same thing, I have coordinate B, which is 5,7. If I change this into vector, I'll say OA, which is 5, 7. So you can change from coordinate to vector and vice versa from vector to coordinate. Coordinate to vector and vice versa, vector to coordinate. So if you are writing as a coordinate, you don't say O, just say B. If you are writing as a vector, you become OB. So this is B. OB. If you are writing as a coordinate, just say A. If you are writing as a vector, say O. So I now easy addition and subtraction addition and subtraction of vectors so example given that vector a is 11, 8, and vector B, and vector B is 19, 2. Okay. Calculate number 1, vector B minus vector A, That's number 2, vector 2 A minus vector to be number three, the magnitude of vector B minus vector A. Given that vector A is 11, 8 and vector B is 19, 2, calculate number one, vector B minus vector A, number two, vector A minus vector two, vector two A minus vector two B, Number three, the magnitude of vector B minus vector A. Okay, follow me now. Let me see the solution. So in my solution, first I'll write vector A. I've been given as 11, 8. Vector B have been given as 1920. Why am I putting that down to show it's a vector? Okay? So, number one, they want me to find vector B minus vector A. So, the answer will be equal to, where there is vector B, I'll put vector B, which is 192 minus, where there is vector A, I'll put 11, 8. So, this equals to 19 minus 11, which is 8. 2 minus 8, which is negative 6. So that is the answer. That is vector B minus vector A. Number 2, they want vector 2A minus vector 2B. So this equals to, it means 2, you multiply with vector A, which is 11, 8, minus 2 times, you multiply vector B, which is 19, 2. So this equals to, 2 times that, 22, 2 times 8, 16, minus, when you are multiplying, don't allow the sign to affect the inside, ignore the negative, just take the numbers, 2 times 19, 38, 2 times 2, 4, so this equals to, 22 minus 38, 22 minus 38, which gives us 16, 16 minus 4, which gives us 0. Negative 16. Negative 16, which gives us 0. 
that. So that is it. Two A minus two B. And the last part, last part now they are saying find the magnitude of this vector. So vector B minus vector A. The key weight is magnitude. You can see this line. So put the formula, root of x squared plus root y squared. Okay? Now, b minus a, if we calculate that first, was 8, negative 6. So this is it, b minus e, a answer. So this is x, this is it, y. So square root of x is 8 plus y is negative 6. So 8 squared is 64. Negative 36 means negative 6 and negative 6 plus 36. Square root of 64 plus 36, 100. Square root of 100 is 10 units. So that is it all about addition and subtraction of.